Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video that I haven't done before on this channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a tour of my, I guess, I don't know, is it a tour? I don't know. An overview of my Disney pin collection, which is here on this bulletin board, which you can see. I just wanted to give an overview of where it dis it's displayed because I'm going to have to take it down to do this video. But these are all of my Disney trading pins that I've collected. I don't have a huge collection, but I have some kind of fun pins on there. So I'm going to go over it. Um, I got most of these trading in Walt Disney World, as well as a couple of them I traded for online, just certain ones I saw that I wanted. And they're displayed on my wall with the lanyard from the Epcot 35th anniversary, um, which has an Incredibles Tomorrowland Expo pin on it from The Incredibles 2. Uh, next to that, you can see a little necklace hanging. That's a Haunted Mansion necklace. And then around it, I just have various little posters and that pennant. So I'm going to take the pin board down and I'll give you an overview of the pins. So the board that these pins are on is just kind of a generic big pin board from Michael's, the craft store. And the pins are divided into uh, categories and there's also different little postcards and things on them. So mainly what I collect are Disney Parks related pins. Um, up here in this top corner I have some random princess pins. I don't really collect them but those are just certain ones that I've decided to keep. Uh, in general, I do just collect parks related pins, especially Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and then Adventureland in Magic Kingdom. I have uh, a few pins from the other two parks, and then I have a rather large Peter Pan and Tinkerbell collection down here of Disney pins. So I'm just going to get started. I'm just going to start right away with these pins up here since there's just a few. These two I got when I was really young and I went to Disney. It's a Princess Minnie and then a Belle with her glittery yellow dress. I also have a baby Elsa and Anna. My mom actually bought these for me on our last trip as a surprise, so I have those up there. And then I have three of the little Russian dolls. I think there's um, maybe three more around the board in a different spot. Maybe there's two more. But this is Alice, Belle, and Aurora. And then I also have this little... Um, Bianca from The Rescuers, and she is just a little pin. I think it's actually a fake pin, but I just keep it up there. I think she's really cute. In the center of the board, if you can see, is my map of Magic Kingdom, and around it I have the different lands placed. So up here, my Fantasyland pins, my Storybook Circus, new Fantasyland section. Um, this is kind of my Haunted Mansion section, my Frontierland section, my Adventureland section is down here. A little uh, Mary Poppins collection. I have a Main Street pin and then my Tomorrowland pins. So starting with my little Liberty Square collection, I have this postcard which is in its little plastic sleeve. I got it in Disney World the last time I was there over the summer and it's a little map of the Disneyland actually Haunted Mansion and how you go through the ride to the different rooms. I think it's super cute. I have the little Tsum Tsum collection of pins. So we have Madame Leota, the Hitchhiking Ghosts, um, the Bride, and the Maid, I believe. Um, and then I also have this portrait of the Bride as well as this portrait of the Watch Dog and the Caretaker. And these glow in the dark. These are from a mystery set. Additionally, I have the Gracie Manor Ghouls pin right here, if you can see that. And it's just, um, I believe it's the Hatbox Ghost from Disneyland. And then from the Kingdom of Cute set I have this Haunted Mansion gargoyle and then right here we have the Bride and Doom pin which is supposed to be like a wedding kind of like couples pin but when you open it it has the bride inside. So I think that's really cute. Over here I also have one of the portraits um, from the portrait gallery and this is the girl that has like the Medusa snake hair. So those are my Haunted Mansion pins. Um, this set here, that's the little mascots or whatever for the different rides, I have quite a few of those because I really like that set. I have five little Small World pins. I have this one that's the little clock. I bought this one. This just is just an open stock pin. These two are from a mystery set. I believe they're America and Mexico. I have the Small World Sailors, which is from the same mascot set as this one over here. And then I have just this open stock. It's a Small World big pretty pin with um, the Hawaiian girl and the American boy on it and I think that one is super cute. Up here I have a few other random Fantasyland pins. This is the Sweets Horse from the Carousel. 
These are two Kingdom of Cute pins. We have the Sword and the Stone and then one of the teacups, as well as the Magic Kingdom Shooting Stars uh, mascot pin. Over here, along with this um, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card, I have some Seven Dwarves pins. This is a um, spinner that has the Seven Dwarves and the Moods on it. This is Doc, who is my favorite dwarf, and then I have the Fantasyland 7 logo pin. Up here, this is a vintage postcard that I have of the Liberty Square area of the park. I'm, it's just over here because it doesn't fit with my other Liberty Square items. But it has the Hall of Presidents and the Haunted Mansion on it. I should have mentioned earlier, but over by my Haunted Mansion pins, I have a little Liberty Square um, steamboat pin. I think that's actually from Disneyland. And then I also have the ghost playing the organ. And those are just old postcards that I got from my grandparents. Down here I have a few other um, Fantasyland pins. I have this Never Alone pin. This is from uh, the Winnie the Pooh. It's just a character pin. It's not ride specific. And if you can see it actually has music notes on the back. It's pin number 34 from... I'm not exactly sure what the uh, collection is, but they're like musical moments pins from the different songs from different Disney movies and shows or whatever. Then I have three Dumbo pins. This one's actually broken. I had to glue it. It used to have a little spring, but they always get bent, so I actually cut the spring and glued it. That one I've had since I was really little. This is a little um, black and white picture Dumbo, and then this is the Kingdom of Cute Dumbo. Under those I have my Tomorrowland pins. I have a Space Mountain license plate pin, the Space Mountain ear hat, Kingdom of Cute Space Mountain. This is a Disneyland D ticket Tomorrowland pin, which has the Rocket Jets, People Mover, Skyway, Disneyland Railroad on it. And that's just a um, scrapper pin. It's not a real pin, but it is super cute, so I keep it on there. Then I have some little tiny character pins that are Tomorrowland related, I guess. I have Boo and Sully from Monsters, Inc. I don't have a mic yet. I want to get the mic from this set and put him here too. And then I have a tiny little stitch. I used to have more stitch pins, but I traded a lot of them away because I just really need the one. And then finally, I have the Kingdom of Cute People Mover. Moving down here, I have my Main Street Electrical Parade, or Main Street Electricity, sorry, that's that pin. And it's just on a postcard of the Main Street vehicles. Next, moving um, clockwise, I guess, I have my Adventureland pins. This is a Tiki Room Harmony pin from that same collection um, that the other logos are from. Sorry, I'm trying to focus this. Um, and this is just the Disneyland version of the mascots or attraction logos. These are the Adventureland Little Tsum Tsum pins from a set. I have the Tiki Room Bird, a Tiki, this is Jose. Um, over here I have the Jungle Cruise Skipper. Sorry that I can't get this more in focus for you guys. Um, I have a teeny little Jasmine and Aladdin. These are not from the same set, but they are super cute. I also have this little um, bird. I can't remember what movie he's from. I think he's the bird from Aladdin. And then I also have the Jungle Cruise Boat. And then finally down in this corner for my Adventureland pins, I have a Dole Whip from Kingdom of Cute and the Orange Bird from the Tsum Tsum set. That's pretty much it for my Magic Kingdom pins. However, over here I just randomly have this little Disney's Wilderness Lodge totem pole pin. Um, that's the resort that we always stay at when we go. And then finally I have this little goat. It's a five-legged goat from the mural at the Contemporary. This is actually a scrapper pin, but I think it's really funny and that's something we always look for every time we go to Disney, so I have that on here as well. Down here in the corner, I have my only two Hollywood Studios pins. They're on a Rock and Roller Fast Pass from when we went to um, Disney in 2012. It's the one that used to have the paper Fast Passes. I have this uh, Star Tours um, attraction uniform pin, I guess. And then I also have Goofy wearing the Tower of Terror uh, bellhop hat. Moving back over here, I have my small little Mary Poppins collection. These two are just open stock pins. This one is a spoonful of sugar pin um, from the same magical musical moments or whatever the collection is um, that the Pooh pin was from. It has little music notes on the back of it. I have a little nesting doll Mary and then I have the April birthstone Mary Poppins pin. Um, my birthday's in April so I have this one. I used to have more from this set but I just kept this one and I traded the rest. 
Next we have my four Animal Kingdom pins. This one I got a long time ago. It's the Expedition Everest little postcard with the Yeti. And I believe there's a similar pin for the Matterhorn in Disneyland. I also have the logo pin for the Dino Institute Dinos from the dinosaur attraction. And then I have two pins that came from a Pandora mystery box, the Pandora Moara Hiking Club and the Navi Cultural Relations pin. And these are just little badges they're supposed to look like from the Pandora area of Animal Kingdom. Now moving over here, I have my Peter Pan pins. This one of the ship as well as this one of the bear are actually fake pins from a booster set, but they're not the real versions of it. I got them in a trade and they're not real authentic pins. I have the Sum Sum set of the three kids, and then I have uh, Captain Hook and Peter, as well as the crocodile. I'm missing Smee, he's got a spot saved for him, I don't have him yet. I have this tiny little animator drawing Peter, I believe this is from a blind bag set. I have Peter flying, I have a tiny Peter, um, this is the Neverland Galleons or Galleons um, attraction logo from the Peter Pan ride. I have the Peter Pan parking lot sign, this is an authentic one, it's not a fake pin. I also have the Peter Pan horse from the carousel. I have Peter Pan sitting and then Peter and Wendy. And then this pen here is super special. This one is Peter with his shadow in the nursery. And this one is actually from the um, park pack, I believe it is, the monthly pin set. I don't get it, but I traded for it online and I really, really enjoy that pen. It's a limited edition of 300. Kind of along the same vein, I have these little Tinkerbell pins. I have a Tinkerbell nesting doll. These two say where dreams come true, and they're both um, pins that I traded for at the airport, actually. I have these three Tinkerbell pins, which I've had since I was super little. This is just a little Tinkerbell. I think she's cute. And then I have a um, Tinkerbell head. This one's on two pin backs, and I just traded for that one the last time I was in Disney World. They're on a little postcard that shows concept art from the first Peter Pan movie. And this is a little Fairy Mary pin from the Disney Fairies um, website that there used to be. It was on a bracelet I had and I just cut it off when I was getting rid of the bracelet and stuck it on here. So that's where that came from. It's not a Disney pin. Kind of filling up this open space, I have this fantasy pin. It's the only pin that's like not a Disney made pin on here besides the scrappers. And it says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. And it's just the sign from Main Street USA at Disney World and Disneyland. It's from Etsy and it's super cute and I really enjoy that pin. Just as I was going to finish up with my Epcot pins, I realized that I didn't show you my two Frontierland pins. So we had the, uh, Ear hat pin for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, as well as the Thunder Mountain Boom attraction logos, and they're just on a postcard from the Country Bears Jamboree. Okay, so as you can see, I have several pins from Epcot. Most of them are the logos from the different attractions, and I'll probably mess up what a few of them are, but I'm going to do my best. They're on this postcard that has kind of vintage Epcot center type things on it. Um, up here we have the construction pin from, I believe, Coronado Springs when they were working on it. This is Panchito, I think. I don't know which bird this is. Um, either Jose or Panchito from the Three Caballeros ride. I have the Soren Sky, Gl Sky Gliders logo pin as well as the test track, test track Drive logo pin. I'm super sorry, you guys. I can't talk. Um, this is a little dog tag that I got when I was really young, and it's from our Mission Space. I also have Duffy and a little Duffy photo frame, I guess you'd say. Up here I have the new um, 2018, maybe 2017 logo pins. I don't remember which year these are from. I believe this is World of Motion, Energy, World Showcase, Wonders of Life. Maybe that's World Showcase. No, this is Epcot Center. This is Wonders of Life. Or this is World Showcase. And then this one is Wonders of Life here. Then I have a little figment in a sweater. This is one of my favorite pins. I just think it's so cute. Down here I also have an Epcot, just kind of an open edition pin with figment on it. These two are um, from the older logo set and I believe I have the whole set of those. No, I'm actually missing two of those. This one is Imagination, I want to say. And then this one is the Communicore or Interventions. Down here I have a small little Horizons collection, so I have the Horizons pin from the blind bags. This is, um, I believe, Imagination from the blind bags. 
Then I have this Horizons pin, the boot, the little um, robot butler head, as well as the robot butler Dynamation pin. And then finally over here I have this scrapper pin, which is the 30th anniversary. I also have this Listen to the Land sticker, it's not a pin, it's just stuck on here. Anyway, that's all the pins I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is a little bit different than the things I usually put on this channel, but I hope you liked it anyway, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!